it's working. I found the piece to my camera that lets me put it on a tripod, or to my phone, that lets me put it on a tripod so I can move it all around and show you how gross and nasty my room is right now. Um, so yay. I wanted to do this for my birthday stream, but I couldn't find any of my stuff. Um, I don't remember where I ended up finding it. Oh, I found it in my camera bag. Which, like, I thought I checked there, but I guess not. Um, I might have to pull those curtains back so that light's not doing that. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead. First thing I'm gonna do, uh, is probably clean my bed. I would be doing laundry today, except my parents are about to go on a trip. And I live with my parents, so they're doing all of their laundry. Um, but I will get it into my little hamper guy. Right there, I'm a little sorting hamper. Um, I'll put it all in my hamper, and then we will get to it in a little bit, a little bit later. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm gonna start with the floor and all that. Need a microphone. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the floor and everything. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't get my computer on real quick, and we can just play some music from the Google. Um, YouTube creator, studio, whatever, just to have something going, because otherwise it's really boring for y'all, and it's kind of boring for me, so, um, but yeah, I'm gonna start with making my bed, um, pro tip, if you are, um, you know, if you have mental illness and your room is an absolute trash mess, the first place I usually like to start is my bed and I usually start there because it also you know it makes me feel good if I want to lay down it's clean and I can but um, it also gives me an opportunity to get stuff off of the floor and put it on the bed for momentary purposes um, so that I can then like come back and kind of reorganize stuff get some of the floor clean so I can actually walk around so um, we will do that my computer just turned on. Hello. you. Um, so we'll get that music going. But first things first. You gonna focus on anything? Let's get that clean. I'm also gonna turn off hearing that persistent like whoosh noise because it's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also gonna turn off some lamps. Mm, that one can actually stay on. I think this one needs to turn off. Yeah. Gucci. Oh, okay. So, this is the bed situation that we're working with. Let me actually kind of lower you just a little bit. There we go. That's the bed situation that we're working with. Let me go
I'm worried that I'm actually my butt to the entire world. <laughs> um, let's try and get some music started. And let's put up our hair because it's going to get a little hot in here. Oh. By the way, I'm trying to rock my fun curls. I haven't brushed them out or anything because I'm trying to enjoy them, but I do need to put them up because my hair is just so thick. Ah, a little fun little messy bun. Yay. <laughs> Uh, my computer is acting up, so we may not be able to get any music or anything. It would be really, really sad. Uh, I'm already tired. <laughs> I already just want to take a nap. But we are not taking a nap. Not yet. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Yay, bed is done, which means I can start tackling this floor, which I'm having trouble not stepping on anything, uh, but that's fine. We'll get through it. Ugh. Whew. <laughs> I 
Um, I am trying to clean my room. I just finished cleaning my bed, making it for the first time in God knows how long. Um, but the main show is, is that. <laughs> um, I'm trying to load some music up so y'all won't be super bored, but, uh, we'll see how that'll work. Um, as for how this happens, I'm a lazy, uh, lazy piece of shit. That's actually a lie. Um, I have depression and executive dysfunction is a thing. It makes me just not want to do anything. It makes me want to just sleep all day. Um, which is the worst. But I'm trying to load up the creator studio music because like, of course, can we? Hi, can we light balance there? There we go. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to like turn that off. What does that? Okay, sorry. I'm back. I my computer somehow messed up my phone. Um, I don't really have anything I can use to cover that window, do I? Oh, actually, no, I do. Hold on. This might end up being a bad idea, but. We're gonna go with it. Also, it is so dusty up here, oh my god. Okay. Bam, is that slightly better? It looks like it's slightly. Ugh. Very, very slightly better. Uh, yeah, okay, it worked. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Oh, they changed, like, everything. <sighs> um, can I do that? There we go. Um, um, I'm just pulling up the YouTube Creator Studio, because that music is all like royalty free anyway so they don't have to pay for it as for what i typically listen to i listen to everything i just obviously can't play it because youtube will get mad at me which i'm okay with honestly that's a-okay that's fine it's not actually i'm a little bit mad about it but you know we'll we'll try to not be too salty um Let's do bright mood. And I guess we're just gonna start at the beginning and play anything. Oh geez, I'm dropping a bunch of stuff. There we go. Um, I can't sing because I'm bad at it. Maybe one day. There we go. Is that too loud? Is it okay? Is it good? It feels good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start on this floor because I'm like dying. That's a mood. Um, that's a mood. <laughs> okay. God, I don't know where I want to start because it's all so bad. Like, it's so bad. But I guess the only place to start is somewhere, so we might as well start somewhere. Uh. Whoa, my god! A bunch of dust just came off of these. Which is disconcerting because I wear these very often. Pockets empty. These need to be washed again. <sighs> I think I need to dust in my room is the problem as well. 
Don't let anyone ever tell you you cannot use the sniff test to determine if your clothes are dirty because you can. Uh, it will just sometimes be very unpleasant, which is fine. Yeah, okay, so I have a lot of junk <laughs> that I have to get rid of. Um, the problem is poor kid mentality because, you know, grew up as a poor kid, still kind of a poor kid. You hold on to everything because it's important to you, um, even if it's not, if that makes any sense. It's uh, really great, really fun. Um, I'm debating if I want to lower this anymore so that y'all aren't just seeing my pasty pale little legs, but that should be fine. We'll see. a lot of stuff. Actually, I actually don't think I wore this, but we'll wash it anyways. I think this is one of my work shirts. I did that backwards. Oh, poo. Hmm. <sighs> the beauty of the situation is this is all clean. I just have to put them up. But I have to put them up. <laughs> like, that's the unfortunate part. And some of the stuff just doesn't actually even go in here. These, I got little nail vinyls from work to, to do some fun Halloween nail stuff because why not? Okay. Oh. Oof. We'll move this up there. Counts as cleaning my floor if I just put everything on my bed, right? Please tell me that's how that works because that's all I'm good at doing. Ow. Oh my god, I forgot I bought this actually. If y'all have never listened to The Adventure Zone by the McElroy Brothers, you have to. It's amazing. It's the best thing ever. I love it so much. It's so good. Okay, this needs to go on the bookshelf. And we're gonna play Front Porch Blues in the Creator Studio for funsies. Okay. Are we back? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I think my phone just freaked out. Huh. Um, we're just gonna push some things aside because this is actually supposed to be over here. Oh, and there's more trash. Awesome. I don't really know where to go next because this is so much stuff. Let me fix this camera angle. Just a hair. Hi there, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's try and focus on that little gross area because I don't know what it is. I know this stuff right here is all clean clothes. They've only been on the floor for a day, so they're still technically clean, right? Also, yes, this is a Seventeen magazine. No, I don't know why they're coming to my house. 
I started getting them like three months ago and I don't know where to go to cancel it because I never signed up for it. Okay. That is definitely dirty. <sighs> Shoes, okay. Getting in a little shoe pile now. We'll set those to the side. Having to keep making sure that the stream's not going to interrupt itself again. I don't know if these are dirty. They are definitely dirty. I swear I only wore these once. Okay. Shoe pile. Um. Woo! Excuse you. Um, fun little tip when you're cleaning. Let me show you my face for half a second. We've made some good progress and it's only been like 20 minutes. Um, when you're cleaning, the best thing to do instead of like putting individual items in places, if you don't really know where those individual items go, uh, just make a pile. Just make piles. Like clean clothes pile, shoe pile. Don't know what that is, but that's a pile of something. Um, but yeah, just make a pile and that way you have all of your little categories and you can break them down further. It's way easier to do that than to look at a giant mess that you have and just go, oh god, I have to put all of this away. Um, it's actually way easier than that. So, yeah. Uh, this is... I'm streaming on a Galaxy S8 and it's not the best thing, I don't think. But I don't have any other camera equipment that can... Uh, Oh yeah, I mean, boxes definitely work if you have boxes. I don't. Um, I don't know why I don't, but I don't use boxes for some reason. I think I just like the impermanence of a pile better because if it's in a pile, you have to confront it. And if it's in a box, you can just kind of say like, oh, well, it's boxed up. I don't have to worry about that, which is a lie. If you do that, you're lying to yourself. Um... I found candy! What? Candies! I am going to eat these, but it's because I know that they're not old. Because I just bought them like four days ago. So, we'll put those there. And plastic bags. Oh, there's something in this one. Where's my glasses repair kit? I need that. Ooh. Okay. I feel like we're getting somewhere. And that's good. Yeah, so it did start as a podcast. I've listened to the entire first arc. 
Um, I tried to hold on to the second little parts of it. Um, once I finished the, what, the balance arc, I think it was called. Um, I tried to listen to the rest of everything, but I just couldn't get into it. And I feel really bad about that because I really liked it. But not everything is for everyone. That being said, I still really, really love the McElroy brothers. They're very fun people. Um, we're making some damage. This whole area is cleaned out now. I'm proud of that. That's still plugged in for some reason. Our donations. Actually, I think I still have a pile of donation codes over there. We're just gonna eat that and that'll be that. If ever you have some old t shirts that you don't want to get rid of because sentimental, but you need to not have them in your closet, just turn them into little bags. You just sew the bottom, cut the shoulders off, and or cut the sleeve parts off. And have a little bag, which I think is really cool. Okay, let's see if you can see the mess I'm looking at now. Woo! There we go. Nice little top down, top down view of this. That is recycling pile in front of this. It is a rock band sticker. Uh, that's one of my favorite games to this day. Like, I love it. The only reason I haven't been able to play it is, well, let me show you where my, my Xbox is. Because <laughs> I can't get to it. 
Um, boop. It's all the way up there in that corner. <laughs> I can't, I can't get to it. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm short, like I can barely reach it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love Rock Band. I actually have a plan for those stickers. I'm going to turn them into magnets so that I can just move them around whenever I want to, which will be fun. Um, as for another comment, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy my cleaning videos. I would like to say I enjoy making them, but if that were true, I think my room would be a lot cleaner more often. <laughs> Well, that's okay, you know. We'll get there one day, right? Oh, this is my little... One of my wigs. Well, it's my only wig, but, um... You know, wig. Uh, I bought it when I was dyeing my hair blue-ish teal. Because I was told I couldn't have unnatural hair color at work. Um... Oh top three Wii games. I don't think you can talk about the Wii without talking about Wii Sports Resort because that game was my jam. I loved it. Um, actually, when I had my wisdom teeth removed, I played it for 17 hours a day and I got really good at fake ping pong, which was really fun. Um, that's definitely like my number one because I feel like that's a classic. You can't not have that one. Um, I really liked Twilight Princess, but here's the thing. I didn't like it on the Wii. I liked it better on the GameCube, which is why I have both copies for some reason. Um, there was another game that I really, really liked, and I can't honestly remember what it was. But I bet I still have it, because all of my video games are actually uh, in that little cube thingy. Um, oh yeah! So here's the thing with Mario Kart is, I wanted it for the longest time, never bought it. Mario Party 8 was the one that I played for a long time on the Wii. Um, I wanted to get Mario Kart on the Wii, but... Um, around that time I was graduating high school and so were all my friends, we were all going our separate ways. So it didn't really s seem to make much sense to get a game that I would have more fun with friends when my friends wouldn't be around anymore. So that was really fun. Is there anything interesting in here? Skincare tips. Mm. Um, coupons? I'll look through that later. Oh. But yeah, I, I'd have to say like my top favorite game series, camera, focus, hello. Oh. Um, there we go. My favorite game series is definitely Legend of Zelda. Mario Party is a really good party game. I'm waiting for it to come out on the Switch. Like I cannot wait. I love it so much. I, I'm, I'm waiting. I need it. Ooh. Oh, that would be really fun. I I understand like having country exclusive games and stuff like that, but at the same time, if you have a good product you're proud of, don't you want everyone to have it? You know? But I mean, I guess we could just emulate their games anyway, so whatever. Not that I'm saying you should do that because you definitely 100% shouldn't. I'm just saying if someone wants you to play their game, they should let you play their game. Uh, little nail art stuff. Gotta do some Halloween nail art soon. What is this? Dapper Dragon Trinkets. Oh, I actually do need to keep this. They made some earrings that I really like. This needs to go in my backpack. Receipts, receipts, receipts. Oh. Why do I just have a single sad little thing of mac and cheese in my room, on my floor? I don't know. We're just gonna set it. I also have a pudding cup that I don't know how long it's been in here, and I don't think it's any good anymore. And I don't know what kind of pudding it is. We'll eat it later. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys on that one. I'm gonna eat it later. 
Okay, I just have to intermittently make sure my camera's still focusing. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but it's having troubles. So, for my receipts, actually, the reason I save them is I use an app called Receipt Hog. Um, you scan your receipts and you can get cash back from it. So far, I'm up to $15 uh, on PayPal, which I actually have to submit later today so that I can get my money. Uh, because I have to pay for my car registration, and it's more than $15, but that 15 bucks will help. I don't know that I can turn it off because it's not... So I'm using the YouTube live streaming feature, which does use my camera on my phone, but I can't change the settings somehow, and I don't really know why. So, only... We'll have to deal with it for now. I promise I will get a better camera after I get a better laptop. Guess what year this dinosaur came out? 20, 2012. This is a laptop that I still use from 2012. And it sucks. It sucks so bad. Um, but, you know, it was a present and I haven't had the money to replace it and it's still working just fine. So we're going to go with it. Although I don't know where my laptop case is. So we're gonna slide it into this clean little corner and not touch it, not touch it because I might break it again. Oh, more shoes for the shoe pile. You probably can't see what I'm dealing with. Ah. Yoink, Let's scooch over that, that way. Oh, scooched over a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, you never know. You never know what you'll find. I was actually cleaning out my car the other day and I found a $20 Target gift card. So if you're a little bit of a hoarder like me, that's probably about time to do some cleaning. I think it just wants to focus on my shirt. I think that's the problem. Who knows? <laughs> Which, by the way, coolest shirt ever. Humans are not real. I love this thing. It's also my only clean shirt right now. And I use that phrase lightly. I've been wearing it for four days. I should clean more often. Woo! All my facial care stuff. Um, and some Garbo. Let's get all this garbo. And facial hair stuff is right there. Ugh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hands. I'll just put in there. Eventually has to get put back on that. little songs are only like 30 seconds long. And that's irritating. The song is really patronizing and it's perfect, but I'm mad at it. Okay. It's my Otterbox for my phone and I don't want to lose it. Um, all right, crafty pile is going there, there's nothing in this box, so we'll recycle it, this is part of the need to go through it. Ooh. 
more receipts. This can actually just get recycled because I don't need it anymore. Again, I don't know what was in this or why it's here. We'll do a stuff that needs to leave the room pile. This streaming thing being wonky. Oops. But that's fine. Uh, this is just actual trash. I'm gonna sleeve. I'm just happy I can actually like walk to my bed now without having to step over everything. Which is pretty great. These actually have to go back into my purse. They're my, um, my Chessex Gemini teal and white set because I'm a nerd. Um, I actually really like these. They're fun. I was learning how to do like dice divination for a while, but then I stopped and I don't know why, but I still carry them around because they're my precious babies. Okay. More shoes. Okay. Now let's um like almost like fortune telling or tarot reading, but with dice instead. Um, which I'm also into tarot reading because I think it's fun and dream interpretation because I think it's fun um, and a lot of people say I have a knack for it but you know it's uh, it's one of those fun things to do every now and then oh I'm just making a bigger mess somehow okay I think it's time to move this over just a little bit so I can get all the trash that's underneath it. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, I never really got like super good at it, but I just really enjoyed it. So it was interesting. Okay, interesting music choices. I'm literally just going down the list of what it has given me. It's very fun, very patronizing sometimes. Oh, oh that's a lot of stuff left to do. I know this doesn't look like much, but I still have to go through that box. I have to put all the shoes away. And then there's that whole corner back there. I don't even know how I've been getting to my closet. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Ugh. Again, more kitchen stuff that I don't need. Sorry, this looks like it could be something from my bank. Let me open this real quick. These have to go back in my wallet. So this looks. That's something that I have to take care 
of later. What's this? Again, I don't know why I have that. It can get trashed. I wish I did. I did once win a vacation to the Bahamas, but I had to pay for my own hotel room and ticket. So I was like, how did I win anything? They were like, oh, well, we did the booking for you. And I was like, no, that's not what winning means. But, you know, whatever. Do you want to see some really embarrassing, like, goth photos I thought it was so cool when I took? Look, look at this embarrassing baby. I'm so... And this was my, I'm radically cooler than you. I'm such a nerd. Um, I did not ever actually learn how to ride a motorcycle, but I wanted to try. Oh, in that one. It's, um... It's supposed to be a tree that I'm supposed to like be hugging or something, I don't really know. I don't know. These were so weird and bizarre. Let's see. Oh, yeah! A friend took a photo of me playing rock band. Is <laughs> how much I loved it. Mm. Some of these I just need to toss, but they're sentimental. Oh, This I think I will toss, because I colored this when I was like seven. I'm gonna toss it. It's just... It can find a new home. Um... Top three songs really depends. Right now I'm really into Go to Town by Doja Cat. Um, shoot, what is at the top of my playlist? Oh, from Rock Band, um, Snow by Red Hot Chili Peppers, Mississippi Queen, don't remember who that's by, and, um, probably the, the Portal song that was on there. Those are some of my favorites. Those are my favorite ones to play. But I will say I haven't played in 10 years probably. <laughs> yeah, actually 10 years. Jeez, that's a long time. Ooh. So here's my thing. I tried playing a real guitar, and I do have a real guitar. I have very little hands, so it's hard to do the, like, I have teensy hands. But I do still enjoy it, and it is fun. But, ooh, a free cookie. When, oh. It ended on September 1st. Well, that's okay. Uh, I really don't want this anymore. No, I do want it. <laughs> More garbage and dishes. Oh, my high school photos. Gotta keep those. Ugh. Okay, we're still good. I'm worried this stream is just going to continuously crash. This is just some paper that needs to just leave. Go have another home somewhere else. See, I'll probably scooch that up now a little bit. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot better than when I started. Like... I'm still annoyed that that's there, but I'll 
get to that. But you can actually see my floor now, which is super dope. Woo! But let's let's knock out that little corner. Cause geez. I just popped my knee and it hurt real bad. Oh, what is this? Um, my sister used to work at a movie theater and she would just bring home random stuff sometimes. Sometimes she would bring home the stuff that hung up in the uh, lobby, which is just massive. Like, oh, there we go. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Still going. Still going. Um, I asked her if she wanted to keep this, and, uh, yeah, it's huge. And this is usually one of the ones that's hanging, like, from the ceiling. So, it looks pretty small, but once you get it down, I mean, it's like, well, it's definitely over five feet tall. Or five feet wide, I guess. Uh, and then I think it's, like, eight or nine feet long. So, I don't know what I would do with this, but I asked her if she wanted it, and she said no. And I asked her if I could get rid of it, and she said no. So I'm just holding on to it for no reason. I actually do know somebody who would like it, but I haven't spoken to them in seven years. So, eh. Uh, what did this one do? This is a poster for Mama. One of the transparent movie posters that you see all lit up. A lot of this stuff I really just don't want, but I want to give it to other people who I know would cherish it more than I would. Which makes it a little difficult to get rid of it. Oh, here we go. Here's some goodies. That's clean. Those are clean. Those are not. Those are not clean. I don't think those are either. I don't even think these fit anymore. Oh, man been almost an hour. That's not too bad. Given that usually when I try to clean my room, it takes me like three hours to get the motivation to do it. I clean for 10 minutes and then I'm done. So I guess that's good. Okay. This actually has to go into my car. Um, I don't know, but I have done similar techniques. And I find that if it's something I'm already motivated to do, or something that I already really want to do, like finish a piece of artwork or something. Um, I'll do it for the 20 or 25 minutes or something, take a small break, and then I come back. If it's something that I'm not really that interested in doing, like cleaning my room, I'll do it for the 25 minutes and then stop and just not come back, <laughs> which is bad. Very bad. But we can see the floor again-ish. I still can't really get to my closet, but I think we're about to fix that. Oh my god. 
I have a Chuck Norris poster. Like, how old of a meme is this? Uh, I think at this point I'm just obligated to keep it for the sheer irony. Hell yeah, Chuck Norris. What's really funny is this is the only one of my posters that is still in pristine condition from having moved three times. All of the other ones just got bent, torn up, and just crushed. But Chuck Norris is still good. I think I'm legally obligated to put him somewhere now. I'll, I'll probably hang him on my door. We'll see. I'll keep it for the irony. Does anyone remember that Three Stooges movie that came out like eight years ago? Uh, I think this was actually a gift to my dad. I don't really know why it's in here, but I'll see if he wants it when he comes home. Oh, uh, what is this one? Oh, from that, um, it wasn't an X-Men movie, it was just a Wolverine movie, right? I don't know, I never actually saw it. I wanted to, but I didn't. So, that's fun. Oh, I guess I'll keep that. That one's pretty sweet. right on my nose. Oh, that's irritating. That's gonna bother the shit out of me. Ugh. Aww. Little, little things from work. Okay, I don't know how old y'all are, but does anybody remember Cardcaptor Sakura? If not, that's totally cool. You're just missing out on the foundations of my childhood. Let's let's be honest with ourselves. I don't get many visitors anyways. Um, but I think you're right about the Wolverine Origins thing. Cardcaptor Sakura, I thought they were bringing it back. I guess not, but it's just really a cute, fun little anime. Yes, I like anime. I'm a nerd. Um, I'm trying to pop this thing open so I can show you what it is. Let's just use my class ring. Nope, guess not. Oh, here we go. This isn't dangerous at all. We're just gonna use a pocket knife. Could you actually imagine if I like cut my hand open on stream? That would be so much fun. Anyway, they're just these little, like, cards, and they have the little thing on the back. They're really fun. Ta-da! I was actually gonna try to learn how to read tarot using these, because there's exactly 52, which is... Or, not 52, sorry. Uh, you need 72 for tarot? But, uh, I was thinking about it. I don't really know that I want to put that effort in right now, though, because I've got so much other stuff going on. But I thought it would be fun! Trading card. No, uh, like, tarot fortune telling. Um, actually, let me see if I can show you one of my tarot decks because they're pretty choice. Where did this go? We'll put it up here. We'll clean this later. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Ah. Oh. So here is my tiny tarot deck. I can fit it in a purse. I can uh, just travel with it. Pretty fun. Pretty good little thing. Um, yeah, just different cards read as different things. Um, the Nine of Cups. People are generous to those in need. Enjoy the kindness of strangers. Stay away from shop talk and try not to worry about finances. It's just fun little things. 
maybe I'll do a, a tarot stream or something at, at one point, but um, it's just fun. And my book isn't always correct. This little book isn't always exactly on point, um, but it's usually close, which I feel is generally the purpose of it. So that's valid. This bad boy is actually my skate bag, which I'll have to tidy that up later. Whew. Camera bag. I think we're almost good enough to say, like, we're done. But I just have like one more little area and then I'll get all this stuff organized later. This needs to actually go back on here somehow. Close this guy up. it's probably time to put some hangers in the closet and then clean up all the rest of this in a little bit because oh my god there is a lot by the way if you ever meet me in person do not ever let me borrow books because you will never get them back because <laughs> I'm a terrible at reading physical books. Um, one of my professors let me borrow this. I've had it for three years. <laughs> I've read is actually, I think my bookmark is still in here. No, maybe not. I never got past chapter one because I'm bad. Uh, that is Quantum Gravity by Lee Smolin. Uh, I was a math and physics double minor for a few years, and then some ish happened, and then I was only a math mi uh, major with uh, minoring in physics. So, it's pretty fun. Um, oh, it's not. Um, so, it's pretty much just going over how, like, if length and quantities like that can be quantum, uh, which is what we, it's just a word we throw around when we mean something changes value under observation. Um, so like if, if I'm traveling at light speed, time and distance are different for me than they are for you, who's probably traveling about the same velocity as the earth. Um, that being said, um, it just kind of goes over discussing whether or not gravity could potentially be quantum um, and be one of those things that changes under observation. And if so, how is it quantum? Which I think the gist of the book is that yes, it can because gravitational velocity. Um, well, I don't remember if it goes over gravitational velocity or if it goes over gravitational force, which are two different things. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. But it's a really interesting book. I'm just kind of sad I never could really finish it, and it's not in the Audible like collection store or anything, so I can't finish it because I'm bad at reading books. Um, but it is pretty interesting. Um, I think that sparked one of my like I really love physics again kind of moods, and I need something else to spark that because right now I'm in a physics class about electromagnetism, 
And I just can't, for the life of me, be bothered to think it's interesting. I'm trying so hard. Oh. My god, I could probably do a cartwheel if I wanted to. The floor is so clean. Um, I don't know how to do a cartwheel, but I'm sure I could learn. Ugh, I found the laptop. Or the laptop case. Let's go ahead and put that away. Laptop's going in there. Now I just have that mess. And one more poster. This should be Silent Hill Revelations. Yeah! Silent Hill Revelations. I'm probably going to give this poster to my boyfriend because he likes movie posters. Um, I think they're fun and cool, but I don't really have a lot of wall space, so eh. Operatic 3, what was that? Okay. More crafty junk. Let's see. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, which is unfortunate. Can I unplug myself from this wall now? There we go. We're moving angles, it's okay. Everybody just hold on tight. There we go. You can probably see a little better. That's the last little bit I've got to go. Um, I really did want to go see Silent Hill Revelations, but I think at the time I was just focused on other stuff. There's a lot of movies out that I want to see right now. I wanted to see Mandy, and I wanted to see Hellfest, but I don't even think they're in theaters anymore. Which sucks a lot. What just fell out of that? Oh, my little fidget cue. He's my best friend. I could annoy the shit out of somebody with this for 20 minutes. Oh my god. Love it. Um. Gotta find better places for all this gunk and junk. Oh, I think somebody's at the door. I'd like to put it there, but... Mm. Okay, this guy's gonna have to sit on the floor, but he'll sit right here. Where it's safe. Huh. Man. That's a giant Zentangle puzzle that took me three weeks to do. And I want to color it. I just haven't gotten there yet. Oh no! Oh, this little shell is just falling apart. Okay, slippers. That's empty. You said you're on the other side of the world? What country are you in? If you don't mind my asking. I don't think it is. I checked a few years ago, but I didn't, I didn't see it, which is really disappointing. But, oh well. I have not checked out Neil deGrasse Tyson's Astrophysics for People in a Hurry. That actually sounds really fun. Um, my field of study now doesn't really have a lot to do with astrophysics anymore. I was wanting to do quantum and particle physics, but um, plans changed. Um, so now I'm in electromagnetism, which I mean, I guess could still technically have something to do with astrophysics physics, but I think it would just be a fun little thing to read anyhow. I do enjoy physics. I just 
I'm burnt out from school. Um, but a little place called UA, am I saying that right? If not, I will totally look it up and figure out how to say it. But that's pretty fun. I've never been outside the United States. And I've only been to like five states. <laughs> Which is really sad because I want to travel the world. But, oh well. Oh gosh. What is that? Oh, I don't need that anymore. Oh my gosh, it's hot in here. Oh, I get it now. Okay, the, I forget what the ac acronym stands for, but United Something Emirates, right? UAE, got it. Thought it was a country I hadn't heard of because to be fair, I went to a Texas public school. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. I'm fine. <laughs> I just fell, it's okay. We're fine. Moderately. Uh, that needs to be trashed. Oh my god. It's so dang hot in here. Oh, oh this is Garbo. Woo! Oh, okay, that is right. I don't know why my brain was like, I don't know any other words that start with A. Which is super stupid because I speak English and like a whole half of another language, so I know plenty of words, just not any that are good words. Oh, this is my old little work apron. Ah! It's super cute. It says beauty like a beast on it because I'm a cosmetics person. No, I wish I spoke Klingon. No, I, um, I'm semi-fluent in French. If you speak French at me, I can make out what you're saying, but I don't always know the word I want to use to say, which sucks, because je parle français quand je suis 18 ans, mais parfois, quelquefois, je ne comprends pas le langue. That was really nerdy and I'm sorry you heard that. <laughs> Essentially, I've been speaking French for like seven or eight years now. Um, and I don't always understand everything. But I know how to order food and that's the most important part. No, it's not. <laughs> but for me, I guess it is. Little piggy slippers. These things are so much fun. Oh my gosh. All right, boop, back to floor mess. This is crafty stuff. And I think we're just about done. I just have to organize all these piles out into the places they go. At some point, I'm not doing that today, I'm too sleepy. That's clean. That is also clean. Woof. That sounds hilarious. Um, not gonna lie, I super love- there was one French, like, comedy show, I don't remember what it was called, but it was really, really funny, and it was like Friends, but French, and I don't remember what it is, so I can't find it and I can't watch it. Some of those. Some more garbage. Ugh. Loving all of this trash to clean. Okay. Oh god. That's all donating stuff. And this is recycling. Alright, I think we're just about, just about done. I think I'm gonna call it, cause, 
because the floor is as clean as it's been in months. Potentially. I don't actually know. I'm gonna have to look that up to see. Cause I, I'm not sure. It was years ago that I saw it. And I should have wrote the name down, but I didn't, because I'm awful. Um, but yeah. Oh, well, I guess I could put all that away. I built my own vanity and then proceeded to just throw a bunch of crap all over it. I guess we could clean that up real quick, because uh, I really don't like that lamp being here, actually. So we're gonna move that too. Oh my gosh. Why is this so much harder than it should be? fix all that. Oh, it's hot in here. Okay. Incense. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot how good my incense smells. So nice. Ooh, uh. Oh, well, hello there, me. That was really lame. I apologize for that. Whew. Gotta clean my brushes. I gotta do that soon. Ooh, hiccups. Woo! We're back. Um, sorry about that. I do. Um, rarely paint. I hold on. There's a little person trying to get into into my room. Hi, Rusty. No, you can't come in right now. No, 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 baby. No, I'll be out in a minute. Okay. 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 Sorry. If I don't pay attention to them at least twenty hours a day, they get needy. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I love my dogs. Um, but yeah, I do paint a little bit. Depends. I really just have to be feeling it. Um, I think the last thing I did was this. This was the last little guy that I did. It's just a little Libra moon thing because I was bored and it's not super flashy, but it's something I love, so... And of course, I just used like the most awful piece of wood I could find. But yeah, I do it pretty rarely. I haven't done it in a... haven't done art itself in a long time. Um, which is sad, because it's something I really like. Oh, thank you! Um, I really love art. I was kind of shied away from it for a long time by art teachers at my schools because to them if you're not painting realistic portraits of landscapes you're not really doing art 
And I'm like, that's a really dumb thing. Like, that's really stupid, the way we teach that. Wow, a, a bunch of eyelashes just came out. That's cool. Um, you know, art teachers, they're just not the best. I'm sorry, anyone out there who's an art teacher and is actually good, I did not have one of you, I'm sorry. coolest thing I've ever done in my whole life. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. Alright, that was fun. Uh, well, it's not perfect, but I feel like my room is definitely cleaner. Um, get a good spot to do a nice little sweeping, sweeping shot. It's like, I can actually get through the door now. I'll take those dishes out here in a second, just have my recycling, and then just that bag thing, that bucket to go through. My bed is all a mess now, but the good thing about all that is it's all stuff that's easy to put away, so that's fun. Oh, oh yeah, let's just like burn out all that, that light. Um, I probably will um, at one point. This was just kind of like something somebody else had asked for. So I was like, oh, we'll do it. Um, I have a couple other time-lapse videos on my channel already. Um, but I actually also have another new project called 10 Minute Clean. In which I just clean a little area of my room for 10 minutes without time-lapsing it. And then once, you know, the room is all clean, I'm going to put it together, time-lapse it. So that all in all, it's just 10 minutes. Um, which will be fun eventually <laughs> right now school and burnout and everything is just awful but that's life so we'll deal with it as it comes but yeah I'm happy my room is a lot cleaner I don't have to step on things to get to my bed and I don't have to worry about the dogs coming in here and stepping on things because they love me so much they just have to trample all of my belongings but they're good dogs any hoodles I'm going to go ahead and go, because it is... Oop. Oh no! Did my watch die already? <gasps> Did it really? I'm about to be very upset. Oh, no, it works again. <laughs> it's 4.30, I believe, so... Uh, I actually, just yesterday, October 3rd, turned 24 years old. I'm old as shit. I'm kidding. I'm, I realize 24 is not that old, but... It's one of those things, even at the age of 24, you're not really a real adult yet, at least in the U.S., um, which sucks because if I ever travel anywhere, oh, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I actually had a really good day yesterday. Ate way too much food, drank a huge margarita, and got super twisted. Um, but yeah, in the U.S., if you travel anywhere, you have to be 25 years old to rent a car, and, uh... It's irritating, because if I want to travel anywhere, I just have to drive, because I can't fly. Oh well. Um, also, that's fun. It's nice to meet a real adult. <laughs> I work with people who are all, like, around my age, and we all have the same, like, yeah, I live with my parents, but I want to move out and have my life already, but also I don't want to pay. Um, reasonably, I could potentially Uber. Uh, depending on where I go, but my one complaint with Uber is price hikes. I hate it so much. I was stuck out in Dallas one night, which is like the hubbub of activity in Texas, is you're either in Dallas, Austin, or you're nowhere. Um, but I was out in Dallas one night, and I was like, oh, I need to get some somewhere real quick. A friend had dropped me off somewhere, and I wanted to go somewhere else, and I look on Uber, and I was like, why is one ride going to cost me, like, $30? It was crazy. 
Um, and it's just because it was a bustling, like, time of activity, which I understand, but also, I hate. As a poor and cheap person, hate. <laughs> like, like my, my vanity, for instance. I could have just bought a vanity, but, uh, instead I made my own for $50, which was better. Um, yeah, their peak pricing is, like, so shady. Like, I, I just, I understand it makes the most sense for the people who are driving the cars and everything. Like, I get that from their perspective. That's when they make the most money. And it's probably better for them in the long run, but I, um, I can't afford that, so. <laughs> we just aren't gonna do it, but. One more year and I can officially rent a car. And then five more years and I'll be 30, so yay. I can't wait. Yeah, I can. I don't. I want to be young forever. But I also want to be an adult. That's the key. I want to look like I'm 22, but have the responsibilities of a 57-year-old. <laughs> it would be nice. You know. But what can I do? Time just has to happen, I guess. Okay. YouTube is mad at me, I think, for recording so long. Uh, so I'm probably gonna scoot, but everything's nice and clean, and I'm happy about it. That's true. That is so true. And my boyfriend just turned 30, and he's like, I feel like I should know how to do things, and I don't know how to do anything. I'm like, yeah, I'm right there with you. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go, because I'm hungry, and I want to take a nap, and I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> this is like the only thing I can think of right now, is I just want a big bowl of pasta. I don't know what kind of pasta, I just need a pasta in my mouth right now. But, uh, I'm gonna scoot. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And I'm trying to. You know, I'm doing dumb things, like skateboarding without a helmet, and driving you know, on fun roads that are maybe unmarked. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or 2 a.m., whatever time it is where you are, because uh, I know I'm a night owl. I'm gonna be up till four in the morning today, but I still got a long time to go till then. Always, always. Um, but it's been super fun. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go stuff my entire face with pasta and then take a 10 hour nap, also known as sleeping. Bye. Mwah. I'll see you next time. Hopefully. If not, no biggie.